were headed over on the other shore, Jesus went and took a nap. He had been worn out. He said, you all can handle the boat while I go and take a nap. He had been tired from ministering all day, and he knew that they were fishermen. They, this was their expertise to fish and, and move, move in the boat and handle the boat. So he went and he took a nap, mm -hmm. and they were all by themselves handling this storm. Some sometimes storms are by God. Sometimes are storms that we have put ourselves in. Amen. And sometimes it's the devil that brings storms to still kill and destroy. But no matter what the reason for the storm, we must learn to trust in God that He is able to calm the storm. Amen. And so the men find themselves in this storm and it says the wind was blowing so hard and the waves were so high that water was filling up the boat and they're panicking, wondering why isn't Jesus getting up handling this storm? Why is he able to sleep? And he sees us drowning and we ourselves are in a sea, a sea of life, going through life, handling different storms in different ways and wondering how am I going to get through this? We're being beat on every side and not knowing how we're going to make it and how we're going to get through this. And as I read this, I saw that they saw themselves in danger just like we see ourselves in danger. They saw themselves having doubt because they thought Jesus didn't even care. He was just going to allow them to die. But what I like about this is at the end, there is a deliverance. There is some discovery about who Jesus really is and what he's able to do. Amen. And so in verse 37, bear with me because these my Bible, I bought the Bible long ago when I could read. And then when you get to a certain age, you can't read little print anymore. So bear with me. Verse 37 says, and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. So they found themselves engulfed in this storm and they found themselves not knowing how to get out of it. Just to give you a little history so you can understand, because as we read it, us not being there, it's hard for us to really connect to what they were experiencing. And if and then to put in your mind there was just a lake, you put you say this is really not a big deal, why are they making it a big deal? But as history tells us that in the Sea of Galilee it was common for there to be storms there. The reason why it was common was because the sea was relatively small, but it was 150 feet deep, mm -hmm. and the shoreline was 650 feet below sea level. So if it was below sea level, that meant it was mountains all around. And anyone who knows anything about science, you know that creates a lot of winds and that creates a lot of waves being so deep yet having mountains all around you. Winds sweeping across the land, coming up and over the mountains and creating these down drafts over the lake. So the storms were common. It wasn't that they, the storm got them all by surprise and they, they had never seen a storm. But the fact is that the storm came at night and they were unable to see. How many been caught in a storm off guard? But not only was it a storm, but you're, you're blindsided and you can't even see your hand in front of your face. Anybody, when you're put in the dark, you will begin to panic because you're not used to dark. You're used to being in light. So on top of not being able to see, winds are blowing. You're hearing the whistling of the wind. You're feeling the waves hitting against the boat. You feel the water coming in in the boat, coming in the boat till it was full, so not only do you not know that the wind is going to take you out, but you don't know if the water is going to drown you, Man. and here your Savior is with you, yeah. yet he has the nerve to be asleep. Amen. 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 And as I was reading it, I said, that sounds just like us. A lot of times we don't want to admit it, but that's just how we think. Sometimes we are mad at God because we feel like I'm going through this. And you said you would never leave me, but where are you? Why am I feeling the weight of the wind blowing against me? Why do I hear the whistling of the wind? Why do I feel the waves coming so deep and coming over my ship, over my vessel and filling me to the point where I'm gasping for air because I'm afraid I'm going to drown. You don't have to say amen. You're human just like me. I know you had the same thoughts. Where are you and how can you be asleep while I'm going through this? Amen. 
That's just the way life is. Yeah. Things can be fine one moment yeah. and the next moment right. everything is flipped up. upside down yeah. and you're trying to figure out where did it come yeah. from. Yeah. They call, What was that storm called? The perfect storm. Yeah. Everything is going fine and then it quietly sneaks up on you without any advance notice and you yeah. find yourself trying to get through this yeah. not knowing what to do but the Bible says we have the Lord God with us. Amen. Amen. Instead of resting in him they had saw him Heal the sick. They saw him cast out demons. They saw him rebuke demons. They saw him heal people with palsy and fever. They saw him do all this and he's right in the boat, yet they're still afraid. Amen. Sounds like me this Amen. morning. I'm not going to say you. I don't want you to think I'm picking on you, but I'll use myself. Sounds just like me. Amen. He brought me through one test. He brought me through one trial. He paid one, one month of mortgage with no money coming in, yet here comes another bill and I'm worried. And I feel like I'm in danger. I feel like I'm going to lose everything. I feel like I'm going to drown. And I feel like, God, you are nowhere to be found. How can you be sleeping at a moment like this? This is what they're saying. They go and they see he's not coming up. He's not helping them get the water out. He's not helping them weather the wheel on the ship. He's down there asleep. Let's go and awake him and find out what's his problem. Master, why are you sleeping? sleeping. Yeah. Don't you care that I'm about to perish? Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I've asked that question. Oh, yeah. God, don't you care that I'm about to die? Don't you care that I'm overwhelmed? Don't you care that I'm drowning? Don't you care that everything is hitting me from all sides? Everything is being turned upside down and I don't know how to get out of this. I can't handle this and you are asleep on God, me. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Man, see, the storm was a severe storm. And even though they were seasoned fishermen, and some of us may be seasoned tri tri Christians, children of God, there are things that happen that frighten us. See, storms come to everybody, no matter your title, no matter how, many, how long you've been walking with the Lord, no matter how many obstacles you've already overcome. There's going to be some severe storms that you've got to trust and believe God when he says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you to the end of the earth. If I'm asleep and and resting, then you ought to do the same. Yes, Amen. yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, follow the leader. Follow, follow the leader. leader. A lot of times we don't follow the Lord. We get panicky and we yes. try to figure out what's going on and figure out how to fix it and yeah. want to get mad at God and say, you aren't moving fast enough. How can you be sleeping at a time like this? Yes. But I'm yes. learning that I've got to learn to follow yes. the leader. Yes. If Amen. the leader's not panicking and I know he has all power, then why am I panicking? Yes. If I'm with the one that made the sea yes. and made the land, and, yes. and made the oceans and yes. made the mountains and made the skies and spoke everything into existence then why am I worried when yes. they're beginning to clap and move and shake and bend and scream and yes. cause chaos yes. in my life I've got with me the one that's able to calm my storm Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus. so they're in this storm and it's just like us in this life we're in storms Storm. Our storm may be sickness. Your storm may be dis-ease. Your yeah. storm may be pain. Yeah. Your storm may be a sin that yeah. you got caught up in. Yeah. Your storm may be that you lost a loved one yeah. or you lost loved ones. Yeah. Different storms. We all have different right. storms. Right. Yeah. But God is able to see us through every one. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Devastation may come. Heartache may come. come Turmoil may come. But God is able to calm the storm. Yeah. He's yeah. able to bring Man. peace to yeah. chaos. Yeah. Tell somebody peace. 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 You see, Jesus, they've got Jesus that had Jesus to calm the storm, but we have the power of the living God living on the inside of us. So we don't not only have to call on him, but we can activate what's already in us and say the same words that he said in the name of Jesus. Peace. Be still. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And so we find them in this severe storm and they're panicking and wondering <clears throat> why is he sleeping? Wondering where did this storm come from? A lot of times we're in storm, we're looking around wondering where did this 
come from. Amen. Everything was calm just a few minutes ago. Where did this come from? Not only did this catch them by surprise because storms usually didn't come through the sea at night. They were used to storms during the day, but here they are experiencing something at a time that it usually don't happen. Oh, come on, somebody gotta know what I'm talking about. This storm is happening. This is not how it usually happens for me. I know how to handle it when I can. I have to pay the bill 10 days late, but now this bill is now 30 days late. This is coming out a different way. I should have gotten the money that I thought should have kept. 10 days I can handle, but 30 days? The storm is coming at a different time in a different way than what I'm used to it coming. And so now I'm caught off guard trying to wonder how did this happen? Yes, yes come, on. come on. Jesus. Preach it. Speak yes. Holy Ghost. You know, sometimes God sends storms. You know, sometimes we don't get it and learn by listening to other people or watching other people. Sometimes we got to learn stuff by experience. Amen. 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 Come on. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. So God says, I have to send you a little storm. It's not going to destroy you, but it's going to cause you to draw nigh to me. It's going to cause you to look up to me. It's going to cause you to dig deep down inside of you and activate what I've already put in you. That's why he said to them, where is your faith? I gave it to you. Where is it? That's just like the kids when you pack their bags for school at the beginning of the year. You put paper and pencils and markers and erasers and you put everything in the bag that they need. And then one day when they sit down to do their work, they're looking like they don't know what to do because they don't have anything in front of them. And you say, where are your supplies? I gave you everything you need. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So the Lord could have sent this storm for the very purpose of teaching these men to trust in God. You would think after they've been with him and walked with him, they've seen him rebuke demons, cast out demons of possessed people. They've seen him heal Peter's mother of a, a mother-in-law of a yeah, fever. Yeah, they've seen him yeah. heal leprosy. They've yeah. seen him uh, heal the sick and those that are lame. They see him feed 5,000 with two, two, two fish and five loaves of bread. And you now they're in the storm and they have the nerve to question. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Why? How do I get out of this? And where are you? And why are you so calm? You see, what came to my mind for them and for me, the reason why they had to experience this storm at this severe level was because they had a work that they were going to do that was going to require unshakable faith. Hallelujah. Yes. 